Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to be identifying sample bias um, in statistical studies. Um, but before we do that, we should identify what a sample is before we determine if it's biased or not. Um, pretty much a sample is a subset of individuals selected from a population. Um, and I guess the population would be the entire collection of individuals that you are studying. So, for example, um, statistics in general, one statistics can't be 100% true. There's always some margin of error. Um, so if you wanted to take, say, um, a statistic in, in the United States where there are over 300 million people, um, that number could change by the day because of the number of babies born or the number of people that have died. Um, so you cannot get 100% accurate information um, if you wanted to survey everybody in the country. So what you would do, or what st statisticians do, is they take a sample or subset of that population that best identifies or represents the entire population as a whole. Um, so that's pretty much what we're doing with samples. Now bias is determining whether or not um, it's lenient towards one side of uh, the conclusions or another, or lenient towards a certain result that is being either forced upon by the research researcher or just a bias error um, that doesn't best represent the population. Um, so, let's try these two examples. This would be quick. Oops, what's going on here? There we go. Okay, here's some examples. So, this study shows the distribution of scrub oaks, which are trees. There are 20 oak trees. If 20 oak trees are selected, if a random coordinate fell within the canopy of a tree, it was selected. And if not, it was reselected. Okay, so pretty much if the oak tree falls above the canopy line, it's selected as a data point and if not it is reselected as a data point. So do you see the bias? Well, they're only taking the ones from the canopy of the tree, so they're ignoring all the small trees. Um, so the trees, yeah, only selected in the canopy and the smaller trees are ignored. So I guess a solution to this would be to take samples from the forest floor, the understory, the canopy, and the emergent layer. Make sure you're diversifying your um, tree data for height um, for the population. I guess, yeah, they're probably measuring height. That would make sense. That wasn't really detailed. Anyway, so next example. Study size the distribution of rock cod. That's a type of fish, so codfish. The lengths and weights are recorded one day by commercial fishing vessel hook and line fishing. Okay, so they used the hook and line fishing method and it was only collected on one day. That's obviously not enough time. Um, it could have been bad weather conditions or really good weather conditions that day. You know, it could be biased towards one side or the other. Um, and they only use the hook and fishing method. So that means what if the fish was too big? Um, what could happen? Uh, the line could break. Um, things like that. Just something could happen. Like the large fish would get away because they weren't caught. Um, because the line would have snapped. So if they were to use a net, maybe it would work better. So that was a possible solution to write about. So again, the sample bias is only one day. Um, they use the hook and line method. Very large fish not being able to caught, too strong would break. And a solution would be to take this sample over multiple days, maybe even months, and use a net to um, as another method of catching. So hope this helped um, with identifying sample bias in studies. Um, identifying sample bias is key if you want to determine whether or not statistics are actually valid. Um, one thing in this in statistics that you should do is always question your data, always analyze. Um, that's kind of what we're doing. We're trying to see if the research is um, and the interpretation of that research is read correctly, quote unquote. Um, so you actually, if the study is actually valid by making sure that the, the population sample was fair, unbiased, and if it makes sense depending on correlations that you uh, might discover in your data sampling. Um, hope this helped and happy studying.